Oh, I'm an idiot. How is this so slow suddenly? I didn't change anything. What the fuck? <laughs> 23. What the sh? How is this? Am I an idiot? Look at this. Just look at it. It took me f ages. I've been stuck at this level for so long. One of the hardest coding challenges I've ever done in my life. This is it. All the levels in this game have already been completed. You can see those two green lights at each of the levels, meaning both of the optional challenges are done as well. Except for this one. This challenge is just so shit. <laughs> like, there's... I, I, I Honestly, there's no way I'm gonna be able to solve this. But let's see. So what's the goal? First, shred the data cube on the left side, then the data cube on the right side. Left, right and so on until no data cubes remain. I've got a piece of code here that's 15 commands. It should work, I think. Let's see how this works. So this lady goes first, shreds the data cube and says coffee time, which triggers the person on the right side. He says goodbye, triggering the left person. Then again, coffee time, goodbye and so on. So these people are basically checking if they're on the end of the line and based on that they are listening for those two keywords. Coffee time and goodbye. All data cubes shred it in the right order, but we've used 15 commands and it should be possible with 7. That's just insane. Also, it should be possible to do under 17 seconds and we've got 23. I've got another piece of code that's just 12 commands, so a bit better I guess. Is it maybe even faster? How does this work? They all listen for ready. Oh, and they both get... Oh, that's brilliant, that's genius. And it's not gonna work, is it? I think it's gonna fail any second now. Or is it? I think they're in the wrong order already. So, so the game probably doesn't stop, but they're gonna tell me that this isn't the right solution, right? Yeah, there we go. Not the right solution. Basically, what I try to do here is shift them to the left. And then both people on the left side and the right side would listen for the same command and go shred their data cube at the same time. But based on the distance, they would come in the right order. But in the end, it would just take a bit longer and we would have people just clutter at the shredder. Right, so, so not, the, not, the, not the right solution, but there's potential. I think I might just write it from scratch to see, like, set a baseline because, because I haven't done this in a long time, right? So the left side lady is going first. So she should just give her data cube to the shredder. And of course, at first, all of them need to pick up their data cubes. Then I'd say, if to the left of you, there isn't a worker, you're gonna listen for whatever, hi, okay, so that's the left side. And if to the right of you there isn't a worker, you're gonna listen for something else, like morning or ready. There we go. So when this lady shreds her data cube, what she needs to do is tell everyone morning, because she needs to trigger, or ready, sorry, because <laughs> she needs to trigger the person on the right side. Now, people who are in the middle, so there's a worker to the left and a worker to the right. They just need to stay here and wait until they are at the end of the line. Then they need to wait till they are triggered by someone else. Once they get triggered, they give to the shredder, but they also need to tell the other people to get in. So we would need to know what command they were listening to. So I guess I have to make duplicate code which I really hate. So if you've been listening to hi, you hear hi, give your data cube to the shredder and then you have to tell everyone ready. And if you had been listening for ready, give to the shredder and you tell everyone hi. This should work already, right? So the lady goes first, shreds the cube. These two people are waiting. Oh, what? Why are you listening again? Oh, because you're a nugget. I see. So here you end your program. That's another issue. Since the people are basically obstructing the shredder, they need to end their program so the other people can shove them aside. And same goes for these two idiots at the end. That's the issue, right? That these two branches are identical. Gonna need to figure that out somehow. So lady first, 
ready and your program. Now the other guy goes and shoves you aside and so on. Right, so this works, great. But we are at 18 commands now, so it's even worse than before. Not good. So how did this work? If to the left of you there isn't a worker. Right, right, you just jump in there. Okay, so the lady thing, which is this, she can just say, if to the left of you there isn't a worker, so you're the lady, instead of doing all of these commands, simply have a jump to here. So that saved one command, right? And then I have exactly what I said. So that's listen, give, tell, listen, give, tell. And we have a jump here. We could do that, right? We don't need this. We can just loop through this bit. And I don't like that I have two ends here, but I guess not much I can do there. So now the code should be, <laughs> I think it's identical now. <laughs> it's the same. Oh crap. Well, never mind. We at least understand the code now. So now it's just the case of simply removing freaking eight commands. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> that's, that's like a half, more than a half, actually. I basically need to merge those two if statements together. There's no other way or is there. Now I tried going for the speed. So that's what I had before where they shuffle left and just get a single ready command and the people from the both sides go to the shredder. Then I tried shuffling the remaining people to the right side so they don't obstruct the shredder. But at some point, the guys from the left side just cut off this single last person coming from the right. So if we take a look slower, we should now see the 37 and 79 in this order. That's right then 83 and 0, that seems to be, yeah, right, and now 59, 35, and they are too early. So 59 should go first now, but gets cut off by 35. And that's the issue right there. So actually, we want them to go fast, but at the same time, kinda maybe slow down a bit. <laughs> I might try telling them to do two extra steps. So they should be in the same position, but give these other people more time to shred the data cubes. Let's see. Oh, oh, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> oh, wrong order. There we go. Now it should work. Yeah, shuffle around, shuffle around. And no, it didn't work because they weren't listening at the right time. So let's try again. Lady goes, they're waiting. Oh, she says ready and they shuffle a bit and go. Ready? Shuffle a bit, this guy shreds, and let's see, 41 should be first, and no, again failed it. A big problem that basically we've got two people coming here at once, and they both say ready, which kinda sucks. Okay, I've tried to fiddle with the steps a bit more, so basically now they're gonna just, you know, shuffle to the left as before, and we're trying to optimize for time. She says ready. So both the side guys go, but the left side guy takes five or four steps down, just so he's a tiny bit slower. And now, as you see, that was the correct order. And, oh, 19 seconds, just two more. But I feel like I'm really close. Do I need them to shuffle to the left at all? Because maybe I don't, maybe just one step to the left and stay there. So let's see, left side lady, ready, and no, already, already messed up, okay, okay. So always step left, but maybe what I could do, just two seconds, you know, so she doesn't have to go down there. So she's the first one, that's this jump, so let's skip these four steps. I just put it there by accident, basically. So she goes direct, and then these people should be perfectly in sync. Yeah, yeah, okay, great, come on, come on. 18 one more second just one more come on they also say ready way too much so she triggers these two people this guy triggers these two people and then these two get triggered so we just need to say ready four times but we do it eight times but i don't see a nice way of fixing that oh i'm an idiot just the left guy needs to say it every time right so I'm gonna say that the lady has in memory two number one, 
So true, say ready once you shred the data queue. And for the rest of you, if to the left of you there is a wall, meaning you're this person, right? Uh, you also set in memory two, one. So only tell everyone ready if number two, uh, memory two is a one. So you were on the left side. So now they should speak less and maybe be faster thanks to that. So she goes direct and says ready. Now these two nuggets go. This one, yeah, doesn't say anything. And this one says ready, which also means we don't have to waste so much time here with these steps because they're not freaking talking all the time. See, he's gone already. Nice. Come on. Should be faster already. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> how, did, how did we get so slow suddenly? Well, I think, I think I don't need these four steps anymore, right? Just quickly. Yeah, I don't. Twi what the shit? How is this so slow suddenly? I didn't change anything. I just have another if statement here. I don't get it. Should we maybe tell everyone ready before actually shredding the data cube? Nope, it didn't work. Wh why, why is it taking so long? What did I change? Go direct. Okay, ready. I think they took longer time there. Let's see what you're doing. So you're listening for ready. She tells you ready, you go and you check stuff. You're not next to a wall. So don't set your memory to one and go shred. Now you shred. Yeah, that's that's quite fast, I'd say. Okay, now when does the program stop? Is it after this guy just shred? Yeah, yeah. So it's not waiting for them to end their program. I don't think I need the left steps now, do I? I hope not. Let's see. You go, ready. Oh no, 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 no. Messed up already. <laughs> but they can step left before listening to ready. Yeah, so they're on the left side already. And this, this has to be faster, come on. 23, what the shit? How is this? Am I an idiot? The code is exactly the same. Is it really this wall check? But it was there before as well. I think I could just remove this if statement and write more code. So if to the left of you there is a wall, you're supposed to say ready. So instead you're gonna give to the shredder and say ready. We don't need to set this memory. We don't need this if statement. And otherwise you're not next to a wall. You just give to the shredder without telling ready. So this should already be a bit faster since we've skipped a single if statement. So he goes and this guy says ready. Great. So come on, let me see not faster at all. I guess it was faster before because the right guy triggered everyone a bit earlier and the left side guy simply took a little detour. So I think I had four steps down for the wall guy. So let's see. Yeah, triggered faster and it's quicker. So what the shit? Oh, it worked 17 seconds. How, how did it suddenly work? I didn't change anything. I have absolutely no idea what I did. Just zero idea. <laughs> so let's check it out again. She goes first, skips all this bullshit and says ready. Now they both go, the left guy goes long way around and these two got already triggered by the right side guy. Now this was close, but they didn't cut each other off. Last data cube shredded and that's it. 17 seconds. Optional speed challenge completed. Crap, that was so difficult. And now we just need to write a really short code. Seven commands, just look at this. This would be seven commands. They can't do anything. Okay, look, look, seven commands, right? We need memory one to be the shredder thing. We need them to pick up the cubes. So now we just have five commands to make sure First, the person from the left side goes, then the right side, and so on. Could it be just some magically synchronized thing where I position these people somewhere in the space and it just works? Because in the end, you have to give to the shredder. So essentially four commands. What if I just tell them to take a step right and then take a few steps up. What have I just want to see what happens. So these idiots hopefully are going to be up there 
and this lady is gonna go first since we're to the right a bit no okay sorry we don't step to the right there what's gonna happen step up and she goes first then this guy oh fuck is it gonna work i mean i'm gonna speed this up and just see no it didn't <laughs> that's a relief what if they take another step up let me see just i mean it's almost working i'm gonna look at this slowly and just see where they mess up okay so lady okay i, I missed it already <laughs> right the order should be 43 35 84 34 78 19 41 52 i don't remember 43 uh... 84 now the 34 guy should be next but he got stuck back there right i really feel like i'm close with this bullshit so the people from the left side are quicker always you just can't synchronize them in any way you just can't can you this is bullshit what order do they go in if i just pick up the cubes and give to the shredder oh <gasps> Oh, I needed that. That was so close. So they made two columns just perfectly. So this lady here shredded and this guy here was ready to shred. So he wants to go there. But the person above goes there first. So perhaps if she were to step to the right, so switch with the guy. So should I just say step to the right at the end? Yeah, perfectly zipped up. And to the right, now this guy, now this, this one, yeah, then this lady, this guy, this guy, come on, yeah, 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 oh, that, that's it, that's it, come on, yes, 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 oh, shit, well, fuck me, honestly, now, how the fuck are you supposed to solve this crap, well, like this, clearly, but that's like, come on, it's seven commands, surely there's, like, a legit solution, not this, random bullshit holy fuck look at look at this look at this just look at it it took me fucking ages i've been stuck at this level for so long with these crappy solutions and this is the expected solution that freaking takes like 10 seconds and is only four commands long that's just random crap but to be fair i'm really glad i finally figured this out so if we go back to the elevator, both of these buttons, oh, and there we go, an achievement. Orange path fully optimized. Still means I've got this blue idiot level, this one as well. Oh, and two more, so four more in total. I call them idiot levels, but it's actually me who's the idiot.